Japan is a giant when it comes to motorcycle production. From the 60s, when it comes to performance, it's the Japanese motorcycles that come to mind. And they have proven their world leader position by plenty of innovations and industry firsts that have changed the game in the motorcycling world. So, here go 10 Japanese motorcycles that truly changed the motorcycling world, for good. From 1977 to 1981, the Yamaha YZR500 featured parallel four-piston valves. But in 1981, rotary disc valve air intakes with the four cylinders in a square changed the game. But what truly made a difference to the YZR500 factory racer was the first ever V4 engine in 1982. The trend of the V4 two-stroke engine came from this very motorcycle, and it went on to be the first V4 in the Grand Prix. Later, the V4 two-stroke became a standard for MotoGP all the way till 2000, after which four strokes came out to play. Hayabusa is Japanese for the Peregrine Falcon, the fastest bird in the world. But when Suzuki initially launched the name and the look, no one seemed very interested. In 1999, the Hayabusa hit showrooms and became the world's fastest production bike and people flocked to get one. This was the motorcycle that started the Turbo Wars, when motorcycles were basically reinventing themselves into being the most hair-raising widowmakers with the craziest possible speeds. Today, the Busa is a cult classic, and rightly so. The Honda Fireblade debuted in 1992 as the lightest and most compact bike in its class. First released as a 750cc, the engine displacement grew to 893cc. At the same time, the motorcycle retained a 1,405mm wheelbase and 407 pounds dry weight of a 600cc class bike. Later, the engine grew even more, to 1,000cc. Mated to the size and weight of a 600cc motorcycle meant the Fireblade annihilated the competition. All because of Honda's Tadao Baba, and his dream of a powerful pocket rocket of a motorcycle. Today, many motorcycles are turbocharged, and all are fuel-injected. But back in the 80s, this was not the case. When emission control began to dictate how carburetors are bad, Kawasaki jumped in with the KZ-1000 and made it the first motorcycle to come with fuel injection. They followed it up with the Z1R that was a marvel in performance and then finally topped it with the Kawasaki Z1RTC, which was the first turbocharged production motorcycle. It showed the world that Kawasaki was open to change. The 1969 introduced CB750 was a huge success, and the success came with a solid reason. The Honda CB750 was the first production motorcycle to bear a transverse four-cylinder engine, and also the first to make disc brakes a given in motorcycles. The inline four-cylinder engine was a technological marvel, and riding the CB750 Superbike was an absolute pleasure. Easy to maintain and very reliable, the Honda CB750 has remained a favored classic over the years, and one motorcycle that built Honda up as a brand. Yamaha made the first motorcycles to move away from the traditional wire-spoke wheels, often considered to have retro appeal today, and rolled out on cast alloy wheels instead for their 500cc racing motorcycles. The RD400C became the first showroom motorcycle to ride on alloy wheels. Even without the alloy wheels, the Yamaha RD400C remains one of the best two-stroke bikes on the market and arguably, one of the last. It ruled the 70s market and is a valuable classic today. The Honda Goldwing was actually launched in 1975 as a superbike, but the size of the motorcycle and the near-palatial comfort it offered made Americans modify it into a tourer, with fairings and panniers. 
Honda noticed and changed the marketing and called it a tour. The Goldwing became a heavyweight GT that ate into the sales of America's Harley-Davidson and became a favored ride for those who loved to travel through the American roads on cushioned support. The 2015 released Kawasaki Ninja H2 is not the first supercharged production motorcycle in the history of all things fast on two wheels, but it certainly is in the recent history of things. The Ninja H2R is the most recent game changer in the world of motorcycles that fits in a supercharger at the factory level for more than 200 thrilling horses. Any more than that and it turns into its street illegal sibling, the H2R. But even the H2 is enough, capable of 210 miles per hour top speeds. This motorcycle rockets off and gives off a powerful soundtrack as well. The Yamaha Nikon is technically a trike, but forgive us for putting its amazing lean and steer ride quality in a motorcycle list, because that's what it feels like. Also, unlike most trikes with one wheel in the front and two in the rear, the Nikon has a dual-wheeled front with just one wheel in the back. It gives you all the riding thrills you get from any motorcycle but the two front wheels add more stability for flying down the highway and may just turn into the next new thing in motorcycles. It makes sense to start and end the list with a Yamaha 4-stroke. This one, though, came much later, in 1998, and was the first 4-stroke production dirt bike, which gave it plenty of added power and oomph, and let the racers fly strong and high in the motocross, leaving the others eating dirt. The engine was refined, the ride and build quality better, and like Yamaha changed the Isle of Man TT and the MotoGP scenario with a four-stroke, it did the same in dirt biking, making its four-strokes one of the biggest game-changers in the motorcycling world. 